folks, welcome back to Face to Face at Venus TV. My name is Sophia and I'll be your host for one hour. And today we have a um, special title. It's about vocal works in the brackets, news, anchor, and dubbing. So we have our special guest today. He's from Sanayan City, right? Yep, Sanayan City, from right? Sanayan City. I come from the JWSA campus. JWSA campus. So hello, Michael. Hey, what's up? Well, how do you feel today, you know, being in the studio and all? I think I should prepare uh, a little more wear, um, clothing wear because I feel so cold and <laughs> kind of nervous as well. So, you know, nervousness equals more cold. <laughs> well, I guess that, um, I guess I agree with that. But yeah. since I'm, you know, wearing long sleeve, I don't really feel that cold. I'm very cold. But, but you, <laughs> look, you look great today. Thank you. You look great as well. I'm. I have a little bit low self-esteem today because of my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> well, so maybe you could briefly introduce yourself to the viewers before we start our talk. Right. Hey guys, my name is Michael. My full name, if you want to know, it's Michael Emmanuel Martinez Apollo. I'm 21 years old and I study in Venus International JWC campus. Yeah. Thank you. So um, you seem to like being in front of camera. Not really. Why not? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I saw your YouTube channel and you seem to like it a lot. I mean, uh, we have like three cameras here. I, I like How it a lot like if it? I'm, I'm alone in the studio. Just when there's people around, I get so cautious, very cautious. Why? Scared. Why? <laughs> I mean, why? I mean, we're just uh, having a talk, you know? I You're know. not going to blurt out wrong words, right? Yeah, you, you heard about that um, two um, two, two sides of the coin or something, like f two face, whatever. Oh, I see. Just like in when, my, I'm in, when I'm in the studio, I'm, all, I'm in my own world. And then, sure, I'm expressing it on YouTube, but then it's, I'm still alone. Like, okay, I don't need to f uh, feel nervous because there's no one around. Well, you can imagine yourself being alone right now. If you don't mind the <laughs> lights, though. I'm just going to keep uh, straight sure, eye contact. Focus, focus on me. Yeah. Focus on me. Just <laughs> look can. at me. <laughs> All right, so what's up? What is going on these days in your life? Mm, mostly video game and midterms. During midterms and video games? That's how I deal with it. Hello, brother. What's up, man? Me too. <laughs> I've been stalking my um, idol like yeah, every day during midterms. I mean, my <laughs> friends are like, you still have time for that? I mean, it's midterms and you still have time for your, you know, Im unimportant hobby. I'm like, sure, why not? Hey man, we got to escape the stress sometimes, right? Yeah. And so maybe you could tell us a bit about your family background. I'm, to be honest, quite confused about your nationality. Oh, uh, do I look Indonesian? No, right? You look Chinese. I like Chinese? I'm that white. Well, not that far from me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually from the fi I'm actually from a f the from the Philippines. Philippines. Yeah, but I was born here in Indonesia, so I've been here for like twenty years, and uh, I have uh, fo four siblings. Four? Four siblings. Yeah. That's don't be surprised. That's not a real lot. I mean, that's in Philippines. That's quite a lot, you know. I only have my brother, and we only have each other. Oh man, in the Philippines, it's worse. I mean, not worse, just. My mother's side, she has about 11 siblings. Oh, God. <laughs> Boom. Boom, yeah. Bl mind blown. My, mom, my mom's side, uh, she has three, four siblings, too, I think. <laughs> I think four, all uh. of them. Well, for my grandma. Mm. And my dad's side, um, my, my dad's side, um, grandma has 10, ten, kids, ten and kids. I have a really big family back <laughs> hometown. We just, I don't know, man. Our uh, parents and grandparents, they just love kids. Yeah, you That's know, right. in the past, they just, they, they say kids are, you know, fortune, blessing. <laughs> yeah. But it's actually a lot of trouble nowadays. Yeah. People think differently right now. So are, in your, in your family, like, are you like the youngest? Yes, I'm the youngest. What oh. about you? I'm also the youngest. I'm the fourth, <laughs> I'm actually the fourth child. I I'm have the second. You're second, right? I'm the second. I only have my older brother, and we our age is not that far apart, and we play together. And mostly, <laughs> in the end, I, I would cry <laughs> when yeah. I was still young, you know. Yeah, lost if you have in a big game. family, it's always every day is a playing ground. Yes. Yeah. And fighting for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, that's right? it, man. I mean, we we fought uh, we fought for a bathroom. We yeah. fought for the same fork. We fought for the same spoon and fought for the same pillow 
for for Wi-Fi speed and all. Yeah, I'm gonna be complaining oh, when you're. Uh, this is the most common thing and common phrase I always use in the house. So oh, I'm playing games, click in, click in, and I'm trying. Why is it so slow? Yes. Hey, is anyone downloading? Especially it? when <laughs> when you're you're fighting the boss. Yeah. That's oh my god. So annoying. But most of the time, I'm the one who steals the speed. <laughs> when my brother is playing online game and, and is fighting the boss, or uh, <laughs> do you know Dragoness? Yeah, I do. You know Dragoness, right? It's and he he was playing with his party. Yeah. And he was fighting the dragon, the <laughs> boss, of course. Well, and what? I was there downloading, <laughs> <laughs> and he shouted from upstairs saying, that stop downloading right now!" It was like me, <laughs> me. I just kept going on, and after that, not long, he came down and, sh and shouted at me, saying that, Hello, I'm, I'm fighting the boss, can you please, please pause it? <laughs> and and uh, in the end, I, I gave it to him, let him play, yeah. because he, he, he comes back once in a while, so not really, you know, not like really often. Yeah, so just let him play. <laughs> <laughs> well, Indonesia's um, Wi-Fi speed or internet speed is not, not to be great. compared to Singapore. So, well, I, I let him play. <laughs> no, I believe in Indonesia. Wi-Fi will get better, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Let's pray for that. Yeah. So how's your class going on? It's the midterm season right now. Uh, midterm season's about to finish. Next week, we're going to resume class. Mm -hmm. And uh, the exam's not that bad. It's okay. Wait, what's your major? Uh, oh, I'm, I major in communication. Communication. No wonder. Yeah. I mean, you can just ace that straight A's. <sighs> No, it's, so it's mostly because of, uh, easy. Of, our, of our lecturers. They know how to teach us and how to stuck all the information in our heads. So you're positive for straight full marks? Yeah, man. There's th I swear, the, the, the exams were not that bad. Okay. Yeah. I hope um, today's exam is not going to be bad. I hope. Because uh, I start today with a little bit of heavy feeling. <laughs> so everything is so annoying in my eyes. Yeah. And yeah, I'm just trying my best, I guess. Wait, you're, you're doing midterms today? Yes, after this. And I have to rush to Angrek, you know. Busy, busy. No wonder, <laughs> no wonder I'm wearing flat shoes today because you know I have, I've got to run. <laughs> so, mm, being able to come here means that you are set for good marks, of course. Uh, about <laughs> communication, easy. So, tell us your hobbies. Uh, well, one thing if everyone already knows, I play video games. Yeah, video games. Video games. Uh, I'm uh, actually I'm quite the athlete. I play anything with a ball. Anything with a ball. So be it basketball, soccer, actually football in English. Football. Uh, yeah. The the American football, the one that. Uh, no, you no. Because if the English the English language is actually football, the sport's actually football. So we're keeping keep in mind it's actually football, not soccer. Okay. Yeah. And if what you want to if you want to mention the American football, say it's American football, not. Okay. Football, football. I did say American football. Yeah, you did. High five. So. So did you play the American football, you know? I, I find it really scary, you know, with all the equipments and making them all bulky and stuff. Mm, if you so have a scary. And you need to, you know, actually one of them you know, with a ball, running with a ball, yeah. they have to run past all the, you know, the, the chasing team and they're the going to, you know, stuff. bury them alive, <laughs> bury <laughs> him alive, you know, under their bodies, you know. Yeah. Isn't it painful? It's so painful to look. It is, actually. If you tried playing British Bulldog and because oh that no. game's like oh no. total <laughs> physical contact, you will know how it feels. But oh no. I don't know. Your body gets attuned by by the pain, so it doesn't really hurt as much. And you have equipment to guard your body, so yeah. It's actually fun getting smashed. I actually tried. Fun getting smashed? Yeah. Are you are no, you no, saying? No, no, no joking, man. I'm no joking. I mean, yeah, not joking, because I, okay. uh, I. I'm actually small body, and then when there's this really huge guy coming after me, I'm like, bring it on! <laughs> you kind of test your bravery right there. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of funny because when I try crashing into a huge guy, it's like, I'm uh, the a one A new being challenge, you know? Yeah. A new challenge and you have to go through it. And when you got through him, you're <laughs> like, ah! It's kind of funny. Is that I, I, I try to tackle him down, but I'm, I'm the one getting flung away. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much for the information. Yeah. So we're going to get into a short break. Don't go anyway. Stay tuned at Face to Face.
Welcome to Face to Face viewers. We are still here talking about Michael and his hobbies. So let's skip to the hobbies. Well, actually, we're going to talk about your newfound hobby later on. Newfound hobby. Yeah. <laughs> you said it's not actually a passion yet, so let's just call it a hobby right now. Yeah. So, um, when I saw your CV, I was kind of you know surprised, and when I heard about you, I was kind of surprised. Representative of JWSA campus. Oh, that. Yeah. yeah, so why why are you the re representative? I mean... Why? Oh, well, I just wanted to help out as much. Help out? Yeah. What did you do? I mean, uh, I don't quite understand. What did you do to get the title? Uh, well, it was just one time when I was in class and then uh, one of the Stucom people from JWC, mm -hmm. they just, op uh, they just uh, came up to me and they asked if... They asked me to come out of the class. So I, I was like curious, what, what would they ask me out for? Yeah. Like, oh, it feels special. <laughs> and then well, it, it, it actually has a really nice ring to it. It makes you, you know, when I heard about it, it was like, representative for JSA campus. I'm like, I mean, like, uh, it has a really nice <laughs> ring to it, and it makes you like so awesome, like wow. Yeah, like like some sort of game tell if you imagine like Michael and Martin Mar Martinez Apollo, representative JSA. Oh, that's wow. I I don't know. It, it makes you like the founder of JSA campus <laughs> somehow. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Soon they. They came up to me, they asked me, Jerry say, do you want to help out? Yeah, so I just, I didn't have anything better to do, so I just, okay, gladly helped them out. So what did they ask you to do for them? Mm, they asked me to join pra uh, practices, and we just one, one day practices and stuff. What kind of practice is that? I mean, like leadership or something uh, it's else? Since we, since we all have to know our formations, it's more like uh, choreography. Mm, yeah. I see. Where to stand, where to how to stand and how to put on the alma mater. That's a nice step. In, I mean, you must be popular with the title going on, you know. <laughs> Representative Jay was it. Actually, so, all so, my, uh, so were you given any kind of responsibility, you know, be, being given the title means that you have a kind of responsibility to do, to hold on to? Mm. I mean, I, I'm sure it's not just, you know, helping out, or is it? <laughs> uh, you mean, that, sorry? I mean, what kind of responsibility did they give you? I mean, to hold the title, or did they just did they did they just ask you to help out? Uh, yeah, mostly that. Okay, yeah. so maybe sh sh I, I understand pretty much from our chat last night. You said there's really nothing really that special about the title except the title. You get what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I get it. You know, you know, um, Michael. Uh, what's your long name again? Uh, Michael Emmanuel Martinez Apollo. I can't memorize that. So anyway, you got the title, and it makes you, you know, somehow very, you know, very respectable person or figure. Yeah. And it makes you like really pop in JWSA campus, surely. Not really. really? <laughs> <laughs> How did your friends re respond to that? Yeah, they just said, "Oh, Mike, was that you?" And on the stage, they're like, "Yeah, that's me." Just like, yeah. Just like that. Yeah, it's like nothing much, nothing it's special. It's pretty much the that. reaction that I get from my friends doing the hosting stuff here. Yeah. You know? They, they, they were so, you know, surprised when they saw me. I, is this really you? And, and, and I was like, no, it's my cousin or it's my twin sister. <laughs> they, they always stay the, you know, yeah, they always <laughs> stay the obvious thing. Well, so let's keep the reaction apart. So, mm, you seem confident about your looks, you know, from our chat and from the way you speak and from the way you do the videos. What do you think? Uh, nah. Uh, wait, you mean when I do my videos? Yeah, you, you seem very confident. Maybe it's just really the eye contact. And you're, you're doing pretty well with me keeping up with the flow. I'm, I'm kind of like uh, lost the nervousness now. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I can see that you're, you're, you're holding the cup really closely. <laughs> well, that's because it's really cold. And well, I it's need pretty some cold. <laughs> sure, maybe mm, at least I don't see you shaking. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, uh, when I saw your CV, you seem to do a lot of charity work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh and yes, that's, yeah, that's I find it really respectable. I mean, I haven't done any charity so far. <laughs> 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 and um, so, how many times have you done the charity works? Mm, in school, I've done, a, I've done a few, but to mention the best charity work I've done is uh, helping out this Filipino Filipino charity work called Gawad Kalinga. If it's in Bahasa, it's Gerakan Kepudulian. Uh, 
<laughs> Your Indonesian <laughs> sounds really, really Funny. adorable somehow. <laughs> no, the yeah. accent, you know. It, yeah. it has a kind of, I don't know, what, what kind of accent is that? Uh, it, it, it's kind of mixed with English and Filip Filipino. Banglish. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but it's so funny. So, continue on. Uh, yeah, the best is Gawi Kalinga. I did a lot of concert charity events for mm -hmm. Gawi Kalinga. I danced mostly. Dance? Yeah, I even did some, I even did some, uh, just a dance, like a theatrical dance for, mm -hmm. for the why don't Kalinga. you record one dance and upload it to your YouTube channel? I'm sure your <laughs> friends would like to see it, you know, other than just voice impression. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Spoiler. 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 So unless you, unless I mean, you want to I mean, see stiff, stiff dancing, that's a new style, so yeah. But I think you, I li you like dancing. I do, actually. Well, keep practicing. I'm sure you'll <laughs> get better. Maybe you can get a kind of, you know, occupation as a choreographer, you know. Or maybe you can re learn from Miss Rosella. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know each other, right? Yeah, she 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 dances. She, she likes dances. She she dances like wow, so different than you know the way I speak with her. And yeah. when I saw the video of her dancing, it's just wow, it's like a different person. But maybe she can she can teach you well with a payment, of course. <laughs> <laughs> For free is better. For free is better. Free is always better. Always. Hmm. So uh, during the charity work, you know, what makes you want to do the charity work? Because it's I mean, not not many people like to do charity work just because they want to. There is always a reason behind it. So, what's your reason? What makes you want to do charity work? Besides, well, it's not because I don't have any be better to do, but it's just at first um, I thought it was just going to be some new fun event, like it's a dancing concert. Yeah. It's fun with new friends and all that. And at but the same time, you're helping people. At the same time, you're helping people. But then, slowly, I came to realize how important the charity, the charity work concert events are, because uh, it's basic. You get to know how, how why you're helping them out, because uh, uh, you, you you realize how much the the gap is between the rich and the poor. I'm so privileged, and they're not. So it's kind of like. It's kind of like when you go to Gawi Galinga, I realized uh, you, you also have that sense of duty to help them out. Because why not share your wealth to, towards the people? I find it actually a really nice chance, you know, to learn about responsibility, about duty, and about especially above all, yeah. kindness to help others and no hesitation needed to help others. And that's really important, I think, you know, being, you know, there are a lot of criminals in this world and you know, kind people are rare. I mean, yeah. through charity where you can actually practice that and actually realize that um, each, each of us is actually needed in this world. And yeah, I find it really definitely. important. So, uh, um, surely you have a lot of memorable moments during the charity work, uh, um, except from um, realizing that you have the duty or the responsibility to help mm. out. Yeah. Well, something else. Definitely. So what is it? Um, I remember doing when we were practicing choreography. We also practiced with uh, one of the poor people. Uh, we also gathered gathered some poor people uh, from the from the poor community, right? Yeah. And then, yeah. at first, uh, at first when I at first when we saw when I saw them, I was like, okay, this is awkward. Um, what do I do? Do I do I have to be more uh, respectful to them or what? And then, when they came up when they came up to me, I'm like, oh. So casual. It's just like uh, talking to anyone else. It's like just a new, new mate friends. New, new friends. And then what I realize is that uh, when, whenever they're pr uh, dancing, they're so compassionate. They're very passionate in their dancing. Surely they are really happy to have your company. Yeah, definitely. You know, maybe I should try to do a, a little bit more for charity works in the future. Hmm. So, so the most memorable moment uh, is when you get uh, get along with them and actually become becoming friends with them. Yeah, this when I realize this when I realize it's easier to just go to any go to anyone, regardless of background. I see. You know that that actually reduces the racism factor in every people. Yeah. I need to do that. <laughs> Okay, um, um I've okay, let's set aside the charity work. So we will get into the main topic today about right. news anchor. 
Mm, however, we're going to get into a short break, so we don't want to spoil the fun. <sighs> break. All right, so uh, viewers, stay tuned at Face to Face to go away. We're going to talk about news anchor and dubbing today. Hi there, viewers. Welcome back to Face to Face. We're still here with Mr. Michael. So we'll get into the talk right now. So Let's about you trying to get the position as a newscaster or news anchor here at Benus TV. So what makes you want to join it? Mostly, what triggers? Mostly for the experience. I want to know since I'm since I since in my major I need to choose between PR and journalism. Since I'm in communication, there's two two pathways. Yeah, uh, you, you try to choose the journalism. Yeah, I try to I try to know if this is for me, like if news an anchoring is for me. So trying I trying trying the new thing. Yeah, and then so how did it go the selection? I heard the selection, um, you know, the selection here at, at Benus TV is really tough and strict. Yeah. I mean, even if you get into you get through the selection, doesn't mean you're going to be a host or you're going to be yeah. a news anchor. No. So how did it go? What well did what did they ask you to do during They asked us to read a s uh, news topic script. So they gave us a script. And, and asked you to, to do directly? Yeah, directly wi with uh, them video recording us. Um, when, I d when I was reading out the script, I was very... Nervous. Jittery, yeah. Like, I, I try to... Uh, I try to sound news anchoring, and then when it, when it g goes to those keywords, I try to sound a little more epic. It all, it all went like me reading while thinking too much, like that. I and think you're, you're a bit too nervous, maybe. Well, yeah. everybody is nervous when doing yeah. selection for the news anchor. I mean, we're, we're here to train to be the news anchor, but, but suddenly then they, they are like, okay, maybe you can do a little bit of the news casting yeah. and stuff. So it's like, are you serious? Uh, but to my surprise, though, after, nah, after finishing the script, the guy's like, Oh, I like you. You're in. I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> you're in? Yeah. So you're, you're in? Yeah. I'll, so I'll why are you not in it, you know? News uh, anchoring yet? Yeah. Well, I, I, started, I wanted to start small first because maybe I'm not, I'm not yet for the screen. So I'm just going to do voiceover to p paste my communication. Surely, I think I have heard of your voiceover of, of news, but I'm not sure which one. <laughs> <laughs> but you can link me later on. All right. So I need to know. So maybe you can try, you know, doing the selection again next year, or maybe you can take over my my place. <laughs> next year, taking selection of becoming a host, add another candidate because there's one candidate yeah. already. He he actually wants to do as a host, yeah. sharing popularity. <laughs> well, then it's not the only reason. But why you come up as well. We have like um, two co-hosts. Yeah, well, it's not also the only reason why I wanna. I want to just do uh, just do journalism. Okay. I just want to I want to like and try new things. Yeah. Since your your major is, you know, yeah, communication. communication. But also I also want to try uh shoutcasting. Okay. Shoutcasting. Yeah, it's Maybe we can try it in thing. next year's selection. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So y I remember you said about vocal thingy. So let's check it out over the video. Oh no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> let's see together. Why, hello there, people of YouTube. Welcome to Woodchuck Man's first video. And today I will be doing some voice impressions of the male characters of League of Legends. Take this scroll and keep it somewhere safe. Sneaky, sneaky! Oh, yes, yes. I was hiding! Never underestimate the power of the Scouts Code. Hop, two, three, four. Freaking scene. Everyone's a hero. Until you shoot a leg or two. Your will, my hands. Strike firmly. 
Haku! Haku! Here's a tip and a spear behind it. I may be outnumbered, but not even the odds can stand against me. A fool and his head are easily parted. Rawr! These claws are for you, Zillion. I know you would do that. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Hey, dude! You're voice acting shit! Okay. And that's it for part one. Uh, hope to see you guys in my channel. And subscribe. Subscribe below. Something like that. Yeah. See ya. So that was it, the video of you doing a, a, the first voice impression. So what, what makes you want to do it, you know? I, I'm sure you might find it fun, but is there any other reason? They're just doing it for fun. Yeah, I want to, well, I want to put myself in a voice, in a voice uh, cartoon. I mean, I want to I wanna do cartoon voices as well. See my, see my own voice in a really epic character like that. Just, it sounds really epic. Well, I, I understand. Well, oh, if, if it's me, I actually uh, dub a little bit of my own character with yeah. my friend, but we do it in Japanese. Oh. But then uh, I, I actually wanted, you know, the main reason why I did the dubbing was because I wanted to be someone else. I wanted to be, you know, it, it's really cool, you know, being uh, voicing a hero, becoming yeah. a hero, or like, you know, fighting the evil demon. That's like, ah, go. It is so fun. I mean, Surely it will hurt the throat, but man, it's all worth I mean, it. I mean, it's all, all worth it and fun, you know. So, um, what do you think about the video? I mean, uh, you did that by yourself. Yeah. What do you think about your work? I love the voice impressions that I did, but then when it came to editing, it's so, uh, it's so I understand. tedious, man. Voice, I mean, I mean, uh, video editing, doing the voice, it's, I, I don't know, I have never done anything like video editing, you know, I don't mm -hmm. do like, you know, makeup, like makeup artists, they do on YouTube and stuff, so yeah. I, because I don't like editing, <laughs> I don't like doing video editing, so how did it go, I mean? The first time it's always like, stop, stop, record again, stop, uh, it, it almost, uh, I'd expect, you know, I planned it to just finish in one hour, but it, it took like, 10 hours, the whole Seriously? day. Seriously? Yeah. The whole day? Yeah, well, that's that's because it's my first time trying to edit something. Okay, so from the characters that you have voice in the video, which one is your favorite? Hmm, I forgot. Oh, Twitch. Twitch? Yeah. We can do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I mean, we're going to play a game later on. I mean, why not okay. now? <laughs> okay, this is a warm up. Sneaky, sticky. We'll try again. Sneaky, sneaky. I'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> I licked it. Okay. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really nice. I mean, it's, it's really different from your usual voice. I mean, yeah. there's still your voice factor there. But yeah. It's quite different. <laughs> That's really nice. Well, can you do Dora and Moon? Ah, uh, no, I, I forgot how he sounds. Really? Uh, can you, can you, um... I don't know. <laughs> I also don't know. Because I don't know, I'm asking you, you're, you're the, you're, you're supposed to be the source of information here, you know? <laughs> Maybe you can try another character, like, I don't know. Uh, I forgot all the voices. Do Jinx. Jinx? Yes. Uh, what does he say? I forget. I don't know, I think it's, uh, I, I don't really remember. But maybe you can just try the laugh. Nah, Laughter. you can't do the laugh. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> okay, then let's just skip. Since you did the what? What was the character? Tw Twitch? Twitch. Uh, yeah. You did Twitch. that? Twitch. 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 It's the, the, the rat character. Okay. Mm, so, to you, what is dubbing? To me, dubbing is uh, something that I really want to do. And it's fun. And um, really hard as well. It was really hard. Yeah. You find it hard. Because it's always strenuous to the voice. It, it takes kind of like years to actually get that developed muscle. Yeah, muscle. <laughs> uh, voice, vocal voice. muscles. I meant to say that. Okay. So uh, I want to ask, since uh, it's about communication, it's about vocal works. So how does dubbing help you with news anchoring or newscasting? Mm, I guess um, 
to just really voice uh, sound nice mostly. Okay. Mm. Dubbing is I don't I don't know a uh, dubbing or uh, you know, voice acting is in the spotlight nowadays, and yeah, I mean, yeah, many people find it really fun to do. I see a lot of people doing it over the YouTube and stuff. So yeah. So you do it for fun, and have you ever thought about doing it as a job? As you a know? job. As a professional I have. dubber. I have. You have. So how did it go? Mm. How is it going? <laughs> right now it's going up and down because. Uh, Really, it's very challenging for me to do it. It's because I only started uh, a year ago trying to do this voice acting work. Uh, uh, mostly, I get really discouraged because there's so many other better voice actors, and I think I'm thinking, how's my, how's mine more unique than theirs in the industry when I actually want to pursue it? So that's. I think I think every every one of us have you know has um, their own unique voices, yes, and that's I true. think. I think you don't need to be discouraged. Yeah. Well, I'm, uh, if if you are going to be a dubber, um, are you going to dub in English or are you going to dub maybe in other languages? You know, Jap Japan is really you know up to date about voice acting thingy. Yes. So are you going to the America or are you going to somewhere else? Mm, mostly in America. In America. Because uh, I see, I don't know, I just really see myself doing a lot of um, American voice cartoons. 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 Yeah. Okay. So um, I mean, dubbing as a vocal work, it looks really simple, but surely there's no simple work. No. So what are the important factors in doing, you know, voiceover or you know, dubbing? If you want to get good at it. Yeah. What are the important factors? Do you think for you to, you know, do a really good dubbing? Dubbing. Uh. Number one, sleep early. Because sleep early. Actually, if you uh, sleep too late, uh, it, can, it will it'll affect your voice. Really? Yeah. Um, if you, because uh, if you sleep late, usually you get colds or anything like that. Mm -hmm. and then um, you get uh, phlegm inside your voice. Usually, like a bit of hoarse. Hoarse. Kind of you, you get yeah. hoarse and stuff. So sleep early because you get you'll you'll sound better, and. Constant practice, because it, it's a uh, hard work. It's hard work, and you need to always, you know, train your your vocal voice. Cord. Yeah, and um, take a lot of take one really big rest day, because if you constantly, if you're doing this and you constantly um, practice your voice, it will it still really get strenuous uh, strenuous after practice. So recommended about after practice rest for, for rest the whole day. Rest your voice the whole day, the next day. So the most important thing is um, hard, hard work, constant yeah. practice, but also the rest is yeah. important. Oh right. if you're doing voice uh, voice acting, also practice. Do a lot. Uh, do a lot of theater as well. Theater. So you can. So like acting or a play, stage play or something. Yeah, stage play, singing as well, because. Uh, to take in, to take. I mean, to you know. Uh, feel the character to yeah. be in character. In character, and also trying to, because you're also trying to bring life to the character, yeah. to the words. Now, uh, nowadays, talking about dubbing, we have a really close relation with animation or cartoons or maybe movies. So, um, between um, cartoons for children, mostly with you know cute characters and yeah. all, and then with the animation, you know, uh, mostly Japanese animation, they are mostly for teen and adult. Which one would, would you prefer to dub? I actually dub the both of them. Both if of I them. Have the chance, yeah. Well, choose only one. All right. <laughs> um, I'd voice the cartoon characters. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't know, my first language is English. So All right. That's why. So thank you very much. So, um, viewers, we're going to get into a short break, and after on, we're going to play impression game. So, stay tuned. Welcome back viewers to Face to Face. Now we're here in the last segment and we're going to play a game and it's called Impression Game. So we have, I have 10 
papers here, little papers, and I have to do impression here. I have to do the impression for Michael to guess. And Michael has 10 as well, and yeah. he has to do the impression for me to guess. And in the last, we're going to record the win and loss, and then we're going to do the last one. We're going to give um, a kind of impression thing for the opponent to do. Mm. So let's get to it. Are you ready to lose? I'm not ready to lose. So <laughs> let's do, uh, I don't know, paper, scissor, rock. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yay, me. Let me start it first. <sighs> Billy Jean is not Michael nice Jackson, yeah. come on. Record the win and loss. One win for me. Yeah. You can do yours right now. I'm going to guess. All right. <laughs> not ready to lose. Not ready to lose. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. What? What? What's the? What's today? Uh. Amnesia. Uh. No. Uh. Uh. Oh man, it's such a big headache. Uh, uh hangover. Uh. uh dr drunk. Drunk. Drunkard. Yeah. Yay! One for me. Next. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, mud blood. Harry Potter? Hermione. Uh uh you wish Potter. Uh wait, uh, uh wait till my father hear about this. Draco Malfoy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh sweet. Alright, my turn. What it's going to be? Um. Come on, I only have five minutes to do this game. <laughs> but take it easy. Romeo, ro Romeo, oh where art thou, Romeo? Ro Romeo, uh, uh, Juliet? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Another win for me. Um, my turn. I think we're just gonna win this game. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We still have a lot of. Oh. <laughs> Rasengan! Right, not at all. Yes! Who's giving these questions? It's so easy. So easy, right? I mean, this is just a game, so who cares? <laughs> We're just going to have fun. What is it? Eh, 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 eh. SpongeBob? No. Can you do it again? Uh, okay. Imagine this is a three, and he's going to it. <laughs> is it from the cartoon? It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, there's a tree. And then he likes to, I don't know, use his beak and always just. Oh, uh, uh, Woody Woodpecker! Yeah. <laughs> Is it my win or your win? Wait, my win. No, yeah, your win. Okay. <laughs> I forgot it's your turn again. My turn. Um, okay, let's take this one. Um. Bloody hell, Harry! Ah, uh, um, what's his name again? Oh, I forgot his name. Harry, I'm scared of spiders. I, I know his name. Come on, come on, the the, the red hair. I know it's the, it's him. There's uh, Harry Potter, Hermione. Wicked. Bloody oh, hell, Harry! My gosh. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> I can't believe I don't remember his name. Really? <laughs> come on, come on. It's come in on. there somewhere. Come on, it's Harry Potter! I mean, uh, <laughs> the character. Weasley, Ron Weasley! Yes! You got it! <laughs> oh man, okay, we gotta win, we gotta win, we gotta win. Wait, you wait. I have like, five left. Um. What is it? Haka! 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 Uh, I'm black. Haka! Uh, and I fly. T turkey? <laughs> no. Turkey doesn't fly right. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm blue. It's mixed. <laughs> oh, man. Is this yours? I don't know. Is this yours? I, I don't so. know. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep, um, Aka! Okay. Um, Game of Thrones. What? What's the nickname of a? Uh, uh, nickname crow. of a, Yeah, crow. I got it. I think we're still, you know, fair. I don't know. These questions are easy. Let's try. <laughs> I didn't do it. Shut up, Potter. What? Shut up, Potter. Sna Snape? Yes! 
Professor Snape. <laughs> I mean, it's no, so you, easy. I mean, you should have gone. You should have gone. Always. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that's the know. famous line. I don't, I don't, know, know, I don't know him in his golden part. Your turn. Oh, yeah. Ka! Baku! <laughs> that's so obvious! Uh, Five. Entry. Almost there. Okay, almost there. Um, Sherlock Holmes. You just said the name. Oh, are you saying his partner? No, no, no. Something about Sherlock Holmes. Um, can you can you act that out? Because Sherlock Holmes um, not much. Um, something that has something to do with Sherlock Holmes. Really close relation. That's um, uh, um. Sophie's fiance. I mean Sophie's husband. I don't know. I don't know. I just gotta have to pass. Pass. You're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do a last one, okay? Last one. Yours, last one. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come okay. On. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! We're running out of time! Under the sea we go. Da, 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 Pirate! Da, 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 da. Uh, his, the sidekick is a fla his name is Flounder. And the uh, first uh, time. Ariel! Yeah. My win! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we don't have enough time to finish all the, you ah, know, damn. all the games. So, thank you for coming here. This thank is you. the end of the show. Thank you very much. So, viewers, this is the end of today's face to face. Thank you for watching, and let's meet next week. Bye!